this is really really good for lamar jackson anything that's really really good for lamar jackson it is great for the baltimore ravens but what exactly is it that we're speaking of what are we talking about well we're going to get into it shortly but before we do i got to give a special shout out to the newest team keep it clean patrons my guys alfonso and Harold, I appreciate the both of y'all like crazy. Thank you for becoming Team Keep It Clean patrons. Uh, and really shout out to all our Team Keep It Clean patrons. If you would like to become one, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids. And if you don't want to, as long as you subscribe to the channel, turn them notifications on so you don't know I miss not a single video and leave a like on the video because it helps out a ton, then we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, but speaking of good or actually great, Today, we, we talked about how this was going to be a great week. We said it in yesterday's video. This was going to be an amazing week. We did not know why. And I did not realize that today was the first day that the Baltimore Ravens, they can show up for voluntary. Got to make sure we stress that word. But they can show up for voluntary offseason workouts. And a lot of those Baltimore Ravens players did. They showed up like crazy. We saw Linda Flinda, our guy Tyler Linderbaum, best center in the league. I'm saying it right now. And we also saw Malik Cunningham, and we'll see what they're going to do with him, what they're going to have him at quarterback, at wide receiver, a mix of both. We will see shortly. We also saw wide receiver Sean Ryan, who went back and forth on a practice squad last year, but the Ravens kept him around. We also saw Zay Flowers, who had an amazing rookie season last year, made some big impact plays throughout. Uh, and then we got to finally see the king again. I think this is our first time seeing him at the Ravens facility since his big introductory press conference. And then we saw our guy. We saw South Florida's very own Mr. Lamar Jackson. And it was a beautiful sight to see Lamar Jackson because we noticed something about Lamar Jackson that I know a lot of y'all noticed about Lamar Jackson. I saw a lot of comments about Lamar Jackson. And most people saw that this is not the same Lamar Jackson that we saw last year. He doesn't look the same Lamar Jackson that we saw even two years ago. They said Lamar Jackson has noticeably slimmed down quite a bit. Not in a bad way at all, but he certainly ain't coming through looking like Colossus Lamar Jackson like he was last year. But what does that mean? What has his physique even got to do with anything? Now, I know y'all noticed because we noticed. If I notice anything, I know y'all certainly notice it, too. Throughout last season, we talked about how Lamar Jackson, we could tell with his play style early on in the season and throughout the regular season, he was holding back like crazy. He was holding it back. He was not going as hard as he possibly could. He was not running as fast as he possibly could. But then we did see at some moments throughout toward the end of the regular season, and then even in the playoffs, he, he was really pushing it. He was really for running what looked like full speed. But his full speed, even though – his full speed was still fast. It just wasn't the same as it used to be years ago. Now, I know when we get older, we may get a little bit slower. But, I mean, even a, a, a slower Lamar Jackson is still the fastest quarterback in the league. The slower Lamar Jackson is still the most agile quarterback in the league. Uh, a slower Lamar Jackson is still one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But we noticed that his top speed, it just didn't seem like his top speed from years past. I'll give you two big examples, both in the same game, both in the biggest game of the year. The AFC Championship against the Kansas City Chiefs. And I know we don't like reliving this game. We don't like rehashing. We don't like talking about it, but we have to in this situation because there were two plays that stuck out that showed, like, hold up. What's, what's going on with Lamar Jackson's speed? One of them was on that early fourth down where the Baltimore Ravens went for it. And Lamar Jackson got it. They got the first down in a major way, but it looked like it should have been a touchdown. And in year pa years past, that probably would have been a touchdown. It looked like Lamar Jackson had the angle. And the only thing between him and the end zone, it seemed like, was space and opportunity. But he got caught from behind. And I don't know if he, like, looked back on if he slowed down or whatnot or doubted himself. But he got caught from behind. And we so used to seeing Lamar not get caught from behind, especially in those situations. And we were like, whoa, what, what's, what's going on? And then in that same game, well, Lamar Jackson, he dropped back the pass. He threw a pass, but it got tipped up in the air. We all looking like, oh, no, here we go, please, because these tip drills they do not end well. But Lamar Jackson said, you know what? Y'all don't want to help me for now, wide receivers? I'm going to do it myself. So Lamar Jackson caught his own tip pass, and he ran for it. He started taking off, but then he got caught. Now, with that second one, that's a little harder because while you're concentrating on catching the ball, you're not going to be running full speed, trying to get the ball and then get the yak. 
But Lamar got caught from behind. But definitely it was the first play that stood out a lot more than the second one, but both. And there were some other plays that happened throughout the regular season, but we were wondering, like, man, how did that happen? That's not the Lamar Jackson that we know. So with him being noticeably smaller, this is a good thing for the Ravens because that speed that we know Lamar Jackson has. Remember them play? Remember when we played the NFC East a couple years ago? And against every NFC East opponent, the Ravens ran the same play. And Lamar Jackson scored every single time. And these were not like five, 10 yard runs. They were huge chunk plays, like 50, 60 yard runs, where Lamar would fake it to the running back, keep it, take off, zigzag, boom, touchdown. Every time. But this year, we, we, we didn't see it as much, and we didn't see it nearly the same. Um, but Lamar Jackson, even though this year, I mean, we expected him to run a lot less, which he did run a little bit less, um, but it just it wasn't the same. So now it seems as if we might get that old thing back with Lamar Jackson, even though, again, a slower Lamar Jackson, slightly slow. It ain't like this dude was barely uh, making people miss in the open field. No, Lamar Jackson still had it this year for sure. But if he's even slimmer than he was this year, then that would mean it's less weight to carry around. That would mean he could be even more agile, which is scary to think about. And that could mean he could be even more faster, which is even scarier to think about. Especially if you got to think about tackling him in the open field. Especially if you got to think about tackling him in the backfield. That's scary for defenders. It really is. Now, with Lamar Jackson, one thing um, that we hope that he remembers, the Baltimore Ravens remembers, is who they are. And that you do not have to do things a conventional way. You do not have to prove anything to anybody. Just go out there and win. That's it. Just go out there and get the job done. Because it seems like with Lamar Jackson, and it's also seemed like with the Baltimore Ravens, just as a whole, in the super biggest moments, they forgot who they were. They, they forgot to do what got them there. And it's like when they did that, it seemed like they just made the job that much harder. We look at that Chiefs game. We think about that Chiefs game. And we wonder, like, if the Baltimore Ravens would have really stayed true to themselves, how would that have turned out? How could that game have went? How could a Super Bowl have went? Because we know the Baltimore Ravens were clearly, clearly, clearly the best team in the league last year. No questions, no doubt in any of our minds, they were clearly the best team in the league last year. Even Chris Jones, this dude just came off of winning the Super Bowl. Fresh off of winning the Super Bowl. And he came out and said it. No, the Ravens were the best team in the league. He came out and said it. Like, as a Super Bowl champion, you got each and every right to be like, we're the best team in the league because, I mean, y'all won the Super Bowl. So nobody can take that away from you. That's with you forever. That's in history. But for him to be a multiple-time Super Bowl champion and a current Super Bowl champion, literally the, the, the confetti just finished falling. And he comes out and says, the Ravens were the best team in the league. That says a lot. But even though they were the best team in the league, they lost their identity in the biggest moment. So I think it's important, not only for Lamar Jackson, but for the entire team to always remember who they are and not try to prove nothing to nobody. Just win. That's it. Just win. That winning, however you do it, whether it's pretty, because there's going to be some games where they real pretty. Oh, they certainly were like them dog Dolphins game like that. Hey, <laughs> that was a pretty win. Then there going to be some ugly ones, too. Remember that Chargers game? Oof. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> but, at, but both games had the same result. The Ravens won. And when you win, literally nobody can ever take that from you.